so God basically sent a financial blessing to myself and my family that spreads to only those that I'm led to, of course, to take care of, because this is the first time God starts my life, you know, taking me out of poverty. Um, but I've been misunderstood by some of my closest to where I'm listening to them. They've showed deep change. Um, I didn't really expect to for the Holy Spirit to show me what I needed to change so quickly, but in weepings and in fastings and in desperation cries unto God, I got free. And then there was someone sent by Satan to try to destroy my marriage and destroy the opportunity for me to see her. Um, and just that all expense paid trip to come up here to Maine, food, hotel, bills, whatever. Hey, don't worry about it. It's all good. You know, God has just broken us through, you know, the from, from, the, from the dreams and everything else. It, it's come to pass. It's here. It's here everything I've been praying about for years, but this person was sent by Satan. They won't stop overwhelming the person. The person was driving for like seven, eight hours, a lot more than that, and the person just will not stop harassing my lover. And she's so stressed out and overwhelmed by what's going on, I wanted to say something, and there is nothing wrong with somebody stepping in when things get overwhelming. If, if you're, if a loved one's being abused over and over again, it's not wrong, and it's not love to endure watching your fiance, your wife, or anybody go through abuse. So yeah, I wanted to say something, and I reached out, and I was like, leave her alone, stop. But because I said something to him, and then she told me, she, like, don't say anything to him, you know, or I'll just completely cut you off, it's just, it's just done. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I was just standing up for you. And yeah, it's, it's not wrong to get irritated when your lover's being abused. You know, because I know the dreams I've got. I know what I've heard from God. And so anyway, I stepped in and I said, okay, and, you know, I listened to her and I was like, all right, you know, um, I wanted to say, I had something to say, but Jesus is faithful. You know, it will all work out in Jesus' name. And I did something I didn't want to do. And so I didn't say anything, but I was going to. I've already told him to leave her alone and he will not. He absolutely will not. I mean, he's physically with her. It's a family member. Um, but I'm just about to, I was just about to see her. I was just about to fly her up here. Like, it's just crazy. It's crazy, bro. I've, I've, I've put so much work into this thing. And I'm so in, in love with her that it's just sad because her cousin, Brady, pray for him, is, is, is literally sabotaging my relationship. Um, and Brady, you will be held accountable in Jesus' name. You keep trying to convince Mallory of these demonic doctrines. I'm going to go public now because, you know, um, I'm not putting up with it anymore. Brady Stover, you um, are a part of Eastern Lightning Cult. And you're trying to convince Mallory um, of all these notions. You're playing your stuff out loud. You won't stop harassing her. She's so stressed out. She feels awkward around you. She feels like she can't even speak the word of God around you. And I am warning you. There is nothing that can separate a marriage that God brings together. And this is your last warning. Because I love you and that's not a threat. But at this point, God's going to step in. And he's going to begin to speak to Mallory. And to show her how much I care. And to show her that it's not wrong to endure your lover being abused and that's period that that that's that's there's there's nothing else to say but that so Brady you will be humbled by the Lord we have both shown you so much mercy 
and, and, and this is this is not okay. This is this is something that I have to endure. This great great pain. I was just released from my whole life for ministry. Everything hasn't completely come together yet. So some things still need to be worked out. But I was about to see, um, you know, Mallory as well. And um, I love you, Mallory. I love you, Evangeline. In Jesus' name, I love your whole family. I love you too, Brady. But you're on thin ice. You're on thin ice. Uh, you've been harassing her for months. And now she won't speak to me. So, Brady, Stover. Yes, I'm a little irritated. I'm a little irritated, Brady. Um, but I love you and I forgive you. You've just... This is kind of the final straw. You, you will not stop harassing my future wife. And I don't have anything else to say. I'm going to be in some deep prayer. I mean, I, I always am. But... Yeah, this is serious. You, you've crossed a line. And I'm um, just hoping that you repent. I love you, Brady Stover. I love you, Mallory. I love you, Evangeline. Um, you will stop harassing her. You will stop abusing her in Jesus' name. I bind up the assignment of the devil against my marriage. In Jesus' name, and all wicked spirits operating through Brady Stover, be silent. Be bound up. In Jesus' name. You cannot stop what God has ordained. In Jesus' mighty name. Y'all be on guard with your family members, with everybody that's around you, your relationships. Pray always. Fast always. Read the word. Stay close to Jesus. Pray before you go places and do things. In Jesus' name. God bless you.